What is up? It's your boy Johnny Shreve, IFBB Pro as Italic it is. If you're having trouble growing your back or finding the right exercises to help grow your back, look no further. This is a video for you. Let's get started. Hi right, guys, so I put together three exercises. I'm gonna start with my go-to exercise, which is a supinated pull down. So I'm gonna make it easy for you guys and simple because I'm gonna use what you guys probably have at your gym as well too, not the fancy cool grips that I have. We can do the supinated pull down with our easy bar grip right here. Then we're moving on to one arm lying dumbbell rows. And we're finishing off with some seated low pulley cable rows. Let's get started. Okay, so using the easy bar here, guys, it gives us a better, just makes it easier here to just grip and go supinated, right? Having a straight bar is a little like uncomfortable on the hands, but here we can actually get a better comfortable grip. Now, a couple things we're pulling. I'm gonna go over these tips always. When we're inside, we wanna make sure that the pad here is super tight on our legs, giving us leverage. Leverage basically means that this thing is not gonna pull me, pull me up. I have good leverage from here. Then I'm gonna push my toes in the floor to give myself even more leverage to tighten up my thighs and the pad. Now from here, I wanna let the weight pull me up. And while it's coming up, I'm gonna push my chest into the air like this. I'm not gonna arch my back. I'm gonna pull my chest up in the air and that's naturally gonna depress my shoulders. Now I'm gonna let the weight pull me up here and that's gonna naturally pull my chest to the ceiling and that's naturally gonna make my shoulders depressed. So just letting your chest pull to the ceiling because when we pull, we're gonna try and greet, we're gonna try and pull our chest to the bar. Now, when we're pulling, I want you guys to stop thinking about so much about pulling with your hands. If you have some straps, if you have straps, great. If you don't, that's fine too. But I wanna emphasize that when we're pulling, we're pulling with our elbow, not with our hands. And that's why a lot of times when people are pulling and they're still doing pull downs, that they don't feel their back and they feel their biceps and their traps. So, what we're gonna do to fix that is get ourselves in position, get ourselves locked in. We're gonna swing ourselves into our seat, push your feet into the ground, tighten up those thigh pads even more. Then I'm gonna engage my core, then I'm gonna let the weight pull me up, the cable pull me up, and then chest to the ceiling looking up. Now from here, I'm gonna pull my elbows straight down. And that's gonna set off my lats like crazy. I don't wanna pull them back like this because, I, because guess what happens? My traps get engaged, I'm pulling from here, and I'm trying to pull the bar here, and this is what I get. I wanna pull with my lats, chest stays up high. I'm gonna take my elbows, I'm gonna pull them in front of me and keep my chest tall. And then up, riding it up, controlling it up, stretch and pulling the elbows down to the front again. And your range of motion is done when your elbows are pulled down to the side and then pushing to the ground. We don't have to have them pull back even more because now we're not doing anything. We just want them to push right down to the floor and coming up, control and drive. Okay, notice that when I was doing the pull down where I was sitting, I'm getting myself sitting back a bit so the so the cable's right underneath me, not over top of my head. Goes over top of my head if I'm in here like this. Then I gotta reach back here and pull from here. I want that cable to come right to the top of my chest. So I'm gonna set myself back here and get myself underneath it this way so it's right over top. So when I pull down, I don't have to adjust my body so much. I can just let it pull me straight from here, chest up and pulling right down to here. So first set guys, we're gonna do, first set we're gonna go to failure and then we're gonna do two rest pause with that first set, and then the second and third set, we're just gonna go a few reps from failure. So, unlike our traditional bent over rows, 
dumbbell rows, right? One arm. We'll be usually kind of posted up on the uh, end of the bench, either like this, you can turn like this. Mike Van Wick's cool way of doing this. We do the whole stagger thing this way. The big, the main point of making this like effective is making sure that we keep a nice stretch at the bottom. We want to reach and then drive with the elbow. Now, when we're doing them standing like this, whether we're like this or whatever I was, there is this amount of hips that come into it. And sometimes we kind of do a little bit of this or we get the whole pull down ourselves this way. So we're gonna utilize the chest support here. Give us some leverage. Keep our hips out of the equation. All right, so what we wanna do is we're gonna basically favor one side. As we're sometimes laying up straight on the bench, we're just gonna shift ourselves over. Now this bench is a little wide. This is a rogue bench for a lot for power and whatnot, but It'll be easier for you who have like a normal bench that's a little thinner. But either way, I'm gonna cheat myself over to this side and I want this part of my chest to be off the bench slightly because we're gonna utilize a little bit of this bench here to let my shoulder, my lats stretch down without having it here then actually rotating this way. I want it to stretch, so protract, basically wrap around this bench. So half your chest to be kind of on the bench and half your chest of one side chest to be off the bench. All right, so I advise straps all day. All right, now your other hand is basically gonna wrap around here. Easy here for some leverage, because we're gonna use this to pull ourselves in, right? We're gonna have a lot of pressure on that back toe. And then from here, you can watch, I'm letting my shoulder stretch right out. And then I'm pulling those elbow, I'm pulling with the elbow, not the hand. So elbow's coming back up and then back down, right? So the elbow's gonna pull first, but the shoulder's gonna come up. The shoulder's gonna go from here, boom, and then the rest, boom, and then back down. And all in one flow, it'll be this. And when you're pulling, I'm putting a lot of tension on my core as well too, so I'm flexing my abs to pull myself almost into the bench to give myself leverage so I can pull. So I'm basically pulling myself into the ground from here while getting full range of motion all the way up, then down, letting it stretch forward, then pull. Stretch, then pull. We're gonna take this for eight to 12 reps and I want you to push a little, a little heavier. So you straps, your limiting factor will be your grip. Your back is a lot stronger. It has more endurance than your forearms. Understand that. So put the tough guy act away. When it comes to straps, just get them. It'll benefit huge. So again, eight to 12 reps. Grab something at the higher end of your one rep max. So like 85%, get some 85% of your one rep max to perform eight to 12 reps of this. And all sets for this are just gonna be straight sets. We're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it complicated. The weight alone and taking up momentum is going to do enough work to make tension, to keep tension high. So there's no need to put any kind of like set intensifiers here, especially when it comes to grip like this. When it comes to like a system to fatigue ratio and doing intensifiers, doing intensifiers, with, even, if you're, even if you're holding, even if you have straps, is going to be pretty tough with like dumbbell work like this. So when it comes to like a lot of set intensifiers for back, I would stick to machines mostly and leave the freeway stuff to your basic straight sets. 8 to 12 reps, if I find this first set pretty easy with this, if I get 12 reps plus, and I'll go for it, I'm gonna go up the next set. Just a controlled tempo, nice stretch. Straight sets done. Head over to the low pulley. Seated row. We're gonna hit some lower lats. Show a couple things we can do to really emphasize the lower lats, but also the erectors. 
Let's go. All right, so we do some low pulley cable rows seated. Now I really want to emphasize the stretch here, so I had to kind of jimmy rig myself into a longer bench because it's a little old, but check it out guys, even myself, even I have to work with what I got. So you got to be a little bit of an engineer here and there. And this is basic engineering. I'm just basically lengthening my feet and myself here. If you don't have this, if, say your bench is too short, you literally get a dumbbell, same thing. Make sure it's like the rubber ones that are flat because you don't want to be balancing on shit. Either way, from here guys, what we want is full extension. I want to keep myself here and then I want my core engaged. So you're going to do this without anything here first because I don't want you relying on the cable here to pull yourself in position. I want you to be engaged in your core. You should be able to do this, right? And this, right? I'm doing this, right? Now there's a difference between doing this and this. Right, I'm engaging my core and my entire torso is going down and stretching. Now I have a tiny bit of bend here in my knees, which is gonna be good for me because if I do this and just lock them right out, I'm gonna get too much of a pump in my hamstrings and anything else and I just wanna have a little bit of leverage here. So when I'm here, my core is engaged. Even though it's rolled, it's engaged. I'm not here and my stomach's out and I'm just benched and then it's bent over like this. This is how you hurt your back, right? How you don't hurt your back is keeping your core engaged. So pretend something's gonna punch in the stomach, keep that tight, let yourself go down. I'm putting pressure into my toes, letting my butt go back, and then letting myself go forward. My whole body's gonna go forward. I'm not gonna look down like this, I'm gonna keep my head forward like this. I'm gonna let it stretch me from here. Then we're gonna pull elbows to our side to here, and we're using the rope to give us that free range of motion here. So all the way out from here, stretching these lats, we're continuing to push it down. I don't want to have it here and then my shoulders and my ears. I want to make sure there's space from my shoulders to my ears, even when I'm going to stretch this way. I don't want to be up here. I'm going to stretch this way. That's going to stretch my lats and then pulling right in and that pull and pulling in. Everything's pulling together. You're pulling your core, your core up, your torso is coming up with the pull, the elbows and the elbows are finishing the rest. Then coming back, you have a slight bend in your back, but you're going to have an engaged core. Your core is gonna help tighten your back as well too. So we're gonna take these guys, long long sets, long stretch at the bottom, nice squeeze at the top. We're doing 10 to 15 reps, a drop set for the first set, and then the last two sets are gonna be close to failure. Okay, if you guys are doing this workout correctly as I'm showing you how to do it, by the time you reach this exercise, you should be fairly gassed. Your body should be basically already tens all the way up and your body should already be at full highest tension it should possibly be. So your weight selection here should not be something, just because we're bending, we don't want our weight selection to be something where you're jerking the weight. I don't want any jerking the weight at all. I want your entire body, I want you to feel everything contract when it comes back, not just yanking it back. That's not what we're trying to do. So you're gonna watch my first set. This is exactly how you should be doing it. All the tips and cues I'm giving you guys, apply them. These aren't suggestions. I mean, they are suggestions, but they're like great suggestions to make sure that you can do the exercise properly, get great gains and avoid getting injured. All right, so I'm gonna find myself from here, I'm gonna put my feet here right away, right? I'm gonna sit down butt back. Then I'm gonna push myself back a little more and find my seat, keep my toes basically press on putting pressure on the pads here, in this case dumbbells. From here, I'm sitting back, my core is nice and tight. I'm gonna let it pull me in. And then from here, our starting position is gonna be Right here, I'm pushing down on these. So the back of my hands, we're in a supinate position. I'm pushing them down to the floor. So my lats stay engaged from here. Stretch. Back out. Pull.
right, guys, that is it for today's workout, guys. We just hit the entire back from high, mid, and low, working our traps, working our lats, our traps, rhomboids, and erectors all in one exercise, only through our workouts, and very basic as well, too. Remember, guys, just stick to the basics. And if you got some more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, you know how it is. Iron Chopper's Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace. Oh,